because that is more authentic. You will only go to a doctor who is reading for you. If it is written in book, okay, he can do whatsoever he like. The intelligent doctor would just pretend that he is reading. <laughs> Maybe he will speak because nobody bothers to see. Or maybe in Germany he should have some Arabic language written on. Only he can read, others cannot read. And maybe he also don't read, but he can understand and he can speak whatever he likes. <laughs> Life has become such complex. And the techniques which you are using so much preparation and I tell you understanding just nothing. And meditation is phenomena. There you need to be very, very attentive, awake, not googling, <laughs> not reading, not following any technique. A awake, a attentiveness is required. But mostly you will see people who go to yoga, people who go to meditation, they have certain motives. They want to achieve something in life, they want to get something, they want to get health, they want to do this and that. They want to achieve good business, good relationship, good body. You have to be clear before what you are going to do. It is very difficult with me and my father. People don't understand. We just tried meditation camp, consciousness camp. And every year it is meditation camp and consciousness camp. No topic. And you need topics. What is about meditation? including one thing and excluding other. You call that meditation, but dear friends, meditation is not that. If you exclude, you have missed. The meditation is including, not excluding. A man came to me in India, he told, I want to meditate, I feel very depressed, I feel life has finished for me, life is finished, I want to die, I want to take suicide, but before dying, before I finish, I want to give a chance to myself. I want to meditate. I want to give a chance to you. He came to me and he said, I want to give a chance to you. Do something. <laughs> I'm anyway going to be finished. Now you do something. If you do good, I will be alive. If you don't do good, I will be dead. I know that person is not going to die. If you want to really die, you will die. Not come to me and give me a chance. If he gives me a chance, he can give other chance to somebody else. I told I don't know anything about, 
but whatever you are doing whatever you are thinking you are always thinking of past forget about that now you are here you wanted to die look in the torch look in my light and be dead and when i blow you you are awake and from there on you start your new life good <laughs> <laughs> He agreed. It felt very good to him. <laughs> True. I told him, "You can also have new name from me. I can give you new name because that would make something more to you." <laughs> He was very very happy. Yes, yes, new name. I told you can. Take a name, Amar, immortal. Very happy, very blessed. He felt. Then he came. Just the next day. Not long. just the next day he came and he told i am very anxious i feel so wonderful the flowers in ashram are so beautiful the man who is watering with the grace i love this all the sun sun is shining so bright it makes me feel very very happy i am very very much in love with the life i cannot leave this life it is so beautiful i am very very anxious i told him yesterday you came you were depressed i told it will go away you will be fine today you are coming you are very anxious and i tell you the same it will go away it is very simple if you are depressed you are in past if you are anxious you are in future but when you are in present you are just peaceful I told him go, broom the ashram every day. It's not just one day, every day. And I tell you, last six years he is brooming. He gets up three o'clock to six o'clock before everybody gets up. He is just brooming and brooming. cleaning every path and he is very happy he knows now the present he understands the present don't come to me in india and tell me directly now next time that i want to brew for you block <laughs> because then this will be also a technique that man did not knew anything about but you know you will get a piece so you will brew you are greedy if you do that you are greedy you need to achieve you want something and then you are doing but this is what has happened we are all doing things to get something 
we are all making things to find something, to achieve something, not to understand. I don't know why throughout life why human beings they make passion passion for the life passion for the wholeness of the life the lust after power to achieve something, to get something, some siddhis. The lust after positions. Fifty percent of people who come to my meditation, they want to be meditation teacher. <laughs> Achieve position. Maybe we will find some words, some sentences which we can go on repeating. He is speaking in Germany, earning euro, we can earn dollar. Go to America. There nobody knows. Forty-eight percent people, I am cutting two so that we will be little bit happy. <laughs> to come and meditate, to solve their problem, to find some new way, to solve whatever the crap they have created bodily, mentally, spiritually two percent let me cut one more from two, one one percent, they may come. Maybe I will speak something about sex. Or something which is going to interest them, entertain them. For some entertainment. And only one percent, I can say, are little bit interested in what life is, what is the complete wholeness of the life. You are sitting here. I have divided the percentage, but now from this 1%, you should all be this 1%. Don't carry any motive. Don't think you will find something. Only then there will be understanding. Otherwise, you will not hear what I am speaking. You will only jump to your conclusions. You are only here to take A opinion that you, whatsoever you think, whatsoever you do is right. I was just searching for my question and I have found the answer for my question from this talk. Leave all the questions. If you want to understand, understand it with more feminine. Understand it like lady-like. 
That's why you know you you say, ladies and gentlemen. Why you say? Because you need to say gentlemen. <laughs> Men are not gentle. <laughs> For ladies, you don't need to say gentle. They are gentle. Men need to be gentle, and who are not gentle, we don't address them. <laughs> we only address to ladies and gentlemen. It is not that I am dividing two. In lady there is man. In man there is lady. Everything you have in you, there is capacity. The bodies are different. We are not going to do anything with this difference. This difference is beautiful. So be here. Not for some power. Not for some position or entertainment. <coughs> Both sexual and religious. Both are entertainment. You, have, you may have entertaining sex, you may have entertaining religion. And that's why people nowadays, they go on changing the religions 25 years. They had been Christian, now 10 years, they were Buddhist. And then now, in, even in Buddhism, they don't feel happy. They go on changing to Muslimism. Changing religions, because that is entertainment. Changing names. Changing society. So not for some entertainment that I will enjoy when I will <coughs> meditate, I will be enjoying more the sex. I am not enjoying because mostly I have told you after 50 people they come to meditate. Now the sexual organs are not working so maybe by meditation I will awake something and enjoy it, all the lusting cravings. There are many more lustful cravings in you. <coughs> Take it deep, only to you. Only then the understanding is there. I am not talking in air, I am just talking to you. Try to take it just very personal. Maybe we don't wait next hour or next day or another meditation camp. What is going to happen? We are just going to understand it now. So be the people put their whole energy to this fragmentary things or fragmentary activity. You may have special interests, like scientists, they have their special interest, artists, they have their own interest. A religious person has their own interest. You may have your special interest. But we are not talking about this special interests here. We are here to understand. We are here to have motiveless passion and in abiding interest, a steady interest for the wholeness of the life. Not for some time. Today the sun is shining, so let's meditate and understand about the meditation. I am sitting anyway in the sun, having sun bath. So let's think, what is life? No. Not only for particular time, I am saying a steady and abiding interest. Not of 
occasional not that you are here to give me some respect maybe two days we can hear whatever going to happen for whole life you have to have that steady interest in your so called living it is your life you need to understand you have to have passion to understand that this meditation camp we will try to understand what is living what is loving and what is dying they are not fragment they are not broken apart this is a complete this is the wholeness of the life this is the complete thing don't cut them off living loving and dying are one don't break them and for understanding that you don't only need intellectual capacities and strong feelings but you need a passion a motiveless passion why i am saying motiveless passion because you have certain motive in your life to achieve some goal i will become this and this i will do this a holy man if i understand my life i will be a spiritual teacher i will earn lot i will live a comfortable life you don't know what comfort means and how spiritual people they live 